Hey guys, it's Ethan Baylor here. Welcome back to the YouTube video. Hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the best way to ensure you can actually scale your clients and you can actually basically see what's going on. You know what's going on. You can make better decisions. You can easily improve results just by following this method. And in this video, I'm going to get into it. Obviously, any questions, drop in the comment section. Appreciate it, the subscribe button. Bless just get into it. So basically, it's tracking everything in a Google Sheet rather than just going in the ad, ads manager, ad account, whatever, and doing it in there. Now, the first thing, the best thing to do is create four tabs. So your first one is your TCPA tab. This is basically the number you want to be hitting. So you put in your cogs, your shipping, your commission, if you've got it. Um, and basically what this does, it gives you a break-even target customer acquisition cost. This basically means you acquire a customer for this number, you break even. Then this is the kind of target cost you want to be getting. So um, target customer acquisition cost, that's meant to be PPP. I know that is PPO. Yeah, so um, this TCAC just basically means based off what your abilities are, you can acquire customer for. So we know that we can probably acquire customer about 4X with you know most of our clients. So that's about $25. So 25 in, 100 out, 4X, uh, which means PPO profit per order from a gross perspective is about $40. That is obviously not including staff and fees, etc. Because obviously we don't factor that in, in this calculator. But that's basically the first thing we do with any clients. We know, okay, we're getting that less increase. Even if we get like $40, for example, or $50, it's still profitable. So we'll still increase the budget. But as you can see, this is literally page one. Now we'll start from the back. So daily is basically we'll come in here every single day, put in the date, CPM, outbound clicks, outbound CTR, landing page views, content views, uh, Add to carts, initiate checkouts, purchases, cost per purchase, AOV, sales, amount spent, variety of frequency. I mean, you can also put in cost by page views, uh, cost per content views, cost per add to cart, cost initiate checkouts, etc. And you can also put in drop offs like content views to add to cart drop off, initiate checkout to uh, purchase drop off, etc. We do that sometimes, but we only do that with clients so we can basically see straight away that there is a drop off and we need to monitor that metric to improve it. So if there's Nine times out of 10, clients don't have that problem, so you don't really factor it in because you want to kind of eliminate as many of your metrics as possible. So you want to track the bare essentials, which are basically these. Um, so, and then we do this in daily. And we've got frequency. We wanted to that because we know with iOS 14, audience size is smaller. So if we are doing interest, but they're targeting rather than broad slash unrestricted, we'll factor in frequency as well. So we just keep it there. And it also helps us know if our ads are actually reaching a broad amount of people or if our kind of like angles too specific etc and then we basically do date there and then over here we just put the week in so the date range and then on monthly we do the exact same thing here but just put the month and then over a 12 month period that we you know we work with our clients probably like minimum about 20 12 24 months or quite a while and um, so we know full well that we'll literally fill this in and get to like down here for example and we can see like we've got um track of some of this where we can go to like sales in like january 2023 for example and it'd be like 10k and then we can look at like december 2023 and it'd be like 80k a month you know for example so that's like an 8x in a year so you know it's very very good because it also gives you motivate because if you can see like okay we made 10k last month for our client okay we did 12 or we did 15 we did 30 you know and you keep going up it keeps you motivated and it's also good because it eliminates questions from your clients because your clients know exactly what's going on and they can just check the sheet and they can go in here, they'll go, okay, yesterday we spent X, we made Y, ROS is good, let's go, cool. And then sometimes you can add another sheet, I just call it total, which is basically where we put in how many days the ads have been running, the amount spent, how many orders we've got, uh, total sales you know, in terms of revenue, and then ROAS. I sometimes do that if it's a pretty high, high tier client where basically the time is money and they just want to open their Google sheet okay, we've made X and C, I've started running, close sheet, that's it. But you kind of sub, like most seven figure to multi six figure or even just six figure brand owners like to see this whole thing. So we just drop this in our WhatsApp chat with all our clients we talk with and it just, everything's in there. So they can check out any time, okay. You know, we can also see like, our, okay, our front end metrics are getting expensive. What time of year is it? Oh, you know, it's November, for example. Okay, well, Black Friday's high, is our CPM high? Yeah, it is, cool, okay. There's nothing to worry about because it's Black Friday and that type of thing. And, you know, you can spot trends. We had a client where we noticed that we got no sales on weekends, no matter what. Not sure why. So we turned ads off over the weekend and compressed the 30-day the budget into just a 20-day budget. It's just the weekdays. And we ended up getting a ha way higher ROAS. And we wouldn't have seen that unless we had a sheet like this. So we never went out on a Saturday and Sunday for that client. Not sure why. No sales ever came in. Only on weekdays. So 
yeah, some of this is very highly effective. I mean, I can drop a link to this. If you, if you, want, if you want a copy of it, just um, shoot a message in the comment section below and I'll just uh, drop it drop it in there for you to have a quick, have a quick play, play around with. But yeah, it's very, very effective. We use it for every client and it just works wonders. So um, that's basically everything. Hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, drop in the comment section. I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And if you want me to turn your ads, look in the description below, which says, have Ethan available my ads. Click the link there, show it all very, very quick, 10, 15 minutes chat with me, and we'll assess if you are a good fit to work with us. That's everything, and I'll see you in the next video.